coverage you can count on. Well, those temperatures are still above average across the North State, but as we take a live look out at Oroville Dam, the temperatures aren't too bad, and it is a, overall a pleasant day out there. You can see the sun is beginning to set, starting to change those colors in the sky out there, but it has not set yet. There's still some daylight left out there. As for the current temperatures right now, Redding's at 80 degrees. Corning's at 82, though. Redding was at 82 earlier today, but they've now dropped, but Corning's still at 82. Chico still in the 70s. We, that 77 degrees, that's the highest we've got today. And then Oroville is at 76 degrees. As for some of those locations out there in the Sierra, most of you are sitting in the 60s out there, but Quincy is at 72 degrees. As for those overnight low temperatures tonight, we'll be dropping in the mid to upper 40s out there in the valley. And then some of you in the Sierra could freeze again, just barely 31 in Susanville, 30 out there in Bernie. And in Trinity County, looks like you'll be avoiding those freezing temperatures tonight. As as for highs tomorrow, looks like another warm one across the North State, well above average for this time of year. Many of you could reach the 80s tomorrow or the upper 70s in the valley, and then some of you out there in those mountain locations could also reach the 70s. As for our future cast, we have this ridge of high pressure kind of sitting over us. It's been sitting here for weeks, and also notice we have this low just to the south of us. Now, here's the problem. We have this low to our north that wants to move into the area. But since we have this low to the south of us, it's keeping this high pressure in place. So this low cannot come to us. It's kind of blocking that low from coming and it's just trapped in between these two lows. So it's not going to be moving. We're going to be staying dry. That will happen through the weekend. Notice that low does eventually move off the area. And when it does so, we have another stronger low way out here that does begin to move eastward. And as that happens, hopefully this is strong enough to kick that ridge of high pressure out of our area. I don't think this low will give us any rain, but it can get rid of that ridge of high pressure, which will allow for more systems, hopefully, to come through our area. But we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Tomorrow is National Stress Awareness Day, though, and I always find if I go out to the park, just go for a walk, yeah, I feel a lot better. And tomorrow will be a great day for that 61 degrees by 9 o'clock. Lunch, 76. Most of you should be avoiding the 80s, but a few of you could still get there. As for that seven day forecast out here in Chico, a high of 78 degrees for tomorrow, cool or warming to 80 degrees on Friday, then cooling back down into the 70s on Saturday and Sunday. A little cloudy on Sunday, but once we get to Veterans Day, looking like a high of 78 degrees, then in the mid 70s by Wednesday. As for Redding, a high of 82 for tomorrow, but we do cool just slightly on Friday to 81. Then we warm back up to 84 on Saturday. See some more increased cloud cover on Sunday and for Veterans Day. Once we get to Tuesday, we're sunny and back in the 70s, then getting closer to the mid-70s by Wednesday. Thank you, Brian. Scientists say last month was the warmest October on record around the world. The European Union's Copernicus Climate Change Service keeps those records.